What is going on Babylonians? It's me, Songs of Rays, back with another Outriders World Slayer video to bring to you, and today we are going to be covering probably the most top tier mod when it comes to Anomaly Power builds, and possibly the one mod that I will always be keeping the lookout for to be able to swap over for all of my Anomaly Power builds in the future. For all of you people that have been getting too comfortable when it comes to Mage's Rage, no longer do you need to worry about landing those critical shots, this thing will be right up everyone's alley. So this works for PC players, this also works for console players. Did you know that only a 16% of you are currently subscribed to the channel of Babylon and that just really means that you're missing out on all of our content when it goes live, the day that it goes live, all of our streams and everything. So if you are a massive fan of Outriders and especially World Slayer, make sure you do us both a favour, hit that red button, hit that like button and also tap that bell notification to be in the running for every single one of those videos as soon as they go live. And with all that out of the way, let's get into it, let's show off some testing, let's explain all the methods about this and why Deathronome is going to be the mod of choice when it comes to it. So just to currently show you how Deathronome currently works, when it comes to the two guns that we do have, the, the, two, in terms of the stats, they don't matter too much. Uh, they all, they both have armor pierce, they both have status power, they both have skills life leech. The only changes really when it comes to uh, what the stats that we're going to be focusing on will be one has Mage's Rage and the other has Deathronome. Now, Deathronome will be applied as standard just from being in this base area, but uh, it won't apply until we come out of the inventory and go back into it. Uh, but, so currently our resting anomaly power is at 676,000. So this is currently made up of our current anomaly power bonus of 318,744. For being at level uh, currently geared level 67 out of 69, we do also have all of these anomaly power pieces that are currently being equipped, uh, which will also feed into that as well. And, and there's absolutely nothing else that's feeding into it right now. So all of our class tree is completely vo completely void. Nothing has been picked up. All the points are pretty much spare to be able to start picking those up. So when it comes to uh, this kind of side of things, if we were to uh, because there's nothing currently filtering into the anomaly power if we were to pick up a 15% we would just see a flat 15% increase to our anomaly power because uh, when it comes to uh, the, uh, the class tree all of this feeds off of the, ba the base amount when it comes to this rather than all the individual multipliers so if I was uh, grabbing this anomaly power because this is boosting up my base anomaly power I would get a 15% increase to that if I was to grab for example this first node right here so just to show that uh, Normally it's quicker just to refresh by coming out and going back in. So there you go, I've got an increase to my anomaly power. That, that should work out to be about 15%. So if I take this back off, go on here, click the gun that has Defranome, come back into it, all of a sudden I'm now sitting at a base 935k. And then what this will do is, because this has increased my base anomaly power, all of this will feed straight into any of these multipliers. So that means if I do pick up this 15% increase right here, I'm now sitting at 1.1 million points of anomaly power just from having that as standard. Now when it comes to things like pack trees as well, um, the, because they're all individual multipliers, uh, so for example the class tree will not feed off of any increases to the packs and likewise the packs will not feed off any increases to the uh, to the class tree. All of these are separate, treated as separate multipliers that all go off of the base anomaly power. So it's not like if I increase my class tree to a certain amount and then put my packs on top of it, the packs will not take that brand new figure that's, uh, that's taken all of this into consideration, it will just purely go off of the base anomaly power in the first place. So when it comes to packs, we will, uh, for the Ice Ice Baby build, which is primarily what I'm using Defranome for, is to be able to grab the Undying, to be able to go Override to increase our Anomaly power, and that is the only increase to our Anomaly power, but Burrowing Charge will benefit from it as well, uh, to be able to take down the elites and enemies a little bit faster when we hit those critical shots. Ascension is kind of a tricky one because it depends on the armor pieces that you do have equipped So when it comes to armor mods like for example no resistance against the fortified and unstoppable force You can just flat increase your anomaly power by 10% there uh, Any increase to your resistance pierce will then feed straight back into your anomaly power as well So uh, to, to, for example 10% here with unstoppable force means I'm also getting a 5% increase to my anomaly power as well um, Same with no resistance against the fortified if we do have that and we do put that we get the 10% for our armor pierce 6.5 5% of that will go into our resistance pierce and 3.25% of that will go as anomaly power uh, to be able to increase the stats even further. So um, it's always worthwhile if you're going anomaly power builds to be able to pick these three up, especially if you are using unstoppable force and no resistance against the fortified, as I do cover in most of the anomaly power builds that we do actually do for the channel. 
And so when it comes to this, we, the Technomancer has access to seven anomaly fueled increases, which totals up to 105% increase to anomaly power. Because this uh, goes off of our base anomaly power, and because Defranome is an increase to our base in the first place, that means we also get 105% increased as for uh, the mod effectiveness as well. So instead of actually getting a bonus of anomaly power of 258,759, we're now looking over 500k anomaly power just from having this mod equipped. The same can also be said for when we activate things like capstone, so tech bond for example, that would also get us a 50% increase uh, to the effectiveness of uh, defranome. Tech Shaman will give us a 40% increase. We do have things like Heavy Absorption to be able to increase our skill leech, and because our skill leech is treated in our packs uh, for override to increase our anomaly power by that amount as well, that will also give us a nice 15% increase, and a 6% for every single node of just pure skill leech that we do pick up. So you can see how all of this feeds into it. Because of all these multipliers, that does usually mean that you will see more of a benefit from having Defranome on your build than Mage's Rage. And the best part of it is that Defranome is easier to be able to proc it's easier to be able to use and to be able to work around rather than having to use mage's rage to try and figure out crit spots or to be able to try and land them especially if you are a console player and you have as you've told me in the past you you regularly struggle to be able to land those critical shots in the first place to be able to get your mage's rage going so therefore defranome is just that good for console players in the first place but on top of that pc players will also get the maximum amount as well now, for example, if you aren't running no, no resistance against the Fortified and you aren't using Unstoppable Force, then I highly recommend that you do try and grab yourself a Final Penance because that allows you to be able to have Mage's Rage and Deathronome on the same gun and Mage's Rage will feed straight back into Deathronome to be able to give yourself a higher bit increase in the first place. Now, I don't have a very high level higher Final Penance, so I am still on the hunt to be able to try and get a new one. And so I possibly will go for that in the end, but especially since my crit damage will benefit from it as well and this is a Blighted Rounds build when it comes to Ice Ice Baby. Um, so I will probably get rid of maybe swapping over No Resistance against the Fortified to be able to, because I'm not using Unstoppable Force, so therefore I'm not really getting the benefit of the Resistance Pierce uh, for, for this particular build. I would be looking for something like Captain Hunter on that mod, uh, for the Apocalypse mod, and then use a Final Penance uh, with Defranome to be able to then get that massive increase to Anomaly Power, and that will probably be the best way to be able to run this build. We do kind of have to touch on the downsides when it comes to Defranome. So we, the, the, this one, this works absolutely amazingly uh, for the Flash Freeze build. It, it doesn't necessarily work too well for other builds as well, especially ones that do have three skill cooldowns. And what I mean by that is that you don't have a round skill. Uh, when it comes to round skill, like for example in the case of the Technomancer, when you use Blighted Rounds, that will not consider to be in cooldown until you've finished using all of your rounds. So if you are using an unlimited Blighted Rounds build, you never have to worry about that skill going into cooldown, you just have to worry about the other two. The reason why that's important is because Defranome, uh, when two equipped skills are on cooldown, you receive a firepower bonus instead of an anomaly power, so you do lose that massive increase if you don't manage your skills correctly. Now when it comes to things like Devastator, it's a little bit on the harder side, but granted some skills do come back quite quickly, uh, but it does mean because you don't have a rounds based skill, you do have to kind of manage uh, your skill cooldowns to be able to get the maximum amount of anomaly power in the first place, but you can be worked around, and as long as you keep it in mind, you can still get some work done. Essentially, this really benefits any kind of skills that have really quick cooldowns, so you have them back faster in the first place. So in the case of like Triple Turret, if you were to use Defranome, I would probably steer clear of using Cold Snap. Instead, I would go for Blighted Rounds and being able to increase the amount of Anomaly Power you have through things like... Uh uh, alchemical mastery and to be able to increase your anomaly damage through things like to the bone because while you have that skill active you only have to worry about your two turrets and as soon as you put your cryo turrets out and while they do have a slower cooldown your blighted turret will have a ridiculously fast cooldown which means that you don't have to worry about the downside of going into a firepower bonus for very long in, in that case. So while this does feel to be on a per build basis, I do think that Defranome has more than enough in its kit to be able to justify being the best anomaly power increase mod for when it comes to weapons and to be able to beat Mage's Rage, especially now that Mage's Rage has been fixed and it no longer provides over 100% anomaly power just in itself. 
And there you have it. That is the video in a nutshell right there. Let me know in the comment section down below. Will you be swapping from Mage's Rage to be able to go into Deferonome? I do think that the, the increase uh, that it does have over, uh, over Mage's Rage from fully stacked is going to be the main thing that's going to be drawing a lot of people towards it. And I definitely will be, for one, trying to swap this into as many builds as I can, especially when it comes to Anomaly Power. I will also be testing it in Firepower builds, but uh, I do think that uh, its primary focus is on Anomaly Power builds, and it gives you such a massive boost just from being able to do that. Massive thank you for making your way to the end of the video. Massive thank you to the Babylonian family, as always, for their continued support. It really does mean the world to us. And their names appear at the end of every single one of our videos as our way of giving back to them. And in all, that just leaves me to say, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well, and I'll see you all on our next video.